Hi guys, welcome back to the Totally Magic channel and we've got a great little card trick for you today using just a regular deck of cards and you can borrow these as well. Now the trick is all about double or pairs of cards. You see a pair of cards, two aces, two kings, two sevens can be very useful in a game of cards. The deck, let me show you them first of all. You can see that they're pretty much uh, all mixed up here. We've just given them a few cups. We've given them a shuffle, but it makes no difference because you're gonna have a choice of any four cards in this pack. What I want you to do is just to touch the back. You don't need to remove it. Just point to any card. This one here, okay, this one, that one, one more, you want this one down here. Now, will you agree that these four cards are random cards that you've picked and you're happy with those? Okay, we're gonna take a look at the four cards that you picked. Okay, so you've got a, a nine, a seven, a picture card, a jack, and a 10. Nothing spectacular there, but they are random cards. And remember, you could have picked any of these cards here as well. But what I wanna do is let's just give these cards another quick shuffle and cut. I want you to pick up those cards because you're gonna deal some cards in a random way. I want you to deal cards in front of each of these here. That's it, keep dealing. And when you get the urge to stop, just stop at any position. Stop in there, are you happy there? Just deal one more just to complete that. But you will agree that out of all of these cards, you stopped freely at this position. That's important to remember. You see, you stopped here. Remember we talked about pairs of cards. You're not gonna believe this, but you stopped here, which gives you a perfect pair. Now I know what you're thinking. Maybe it was just luck. But let's take a look at the first one. You're not gonna believe this, but it's a pair of nines. Now maybe that is just coincidence. Luck, coincidence, let's try another one. Maybe the end one. <laughs> Get out of here. A 10, a pair of 10s. Now that's improbable that that would happen, but to get it a fourth time, that would be impossible. And that is impossible. Look at that, a pair of nines, sevens, jacks, and tens. The interesting thing here, if you had stopped dealing on the first run of cards, then you would have ended up with these cards, none of them pair up. If you had stopped when you was dealing the second lot of cards, you wouldn't have ended up with any pairs at all there. This is why you're the dealer and I'm the magician. Perfect pair. Practice and enjoy. The tutorial for this trick is gonna be pretty simple because the trick itself is pretty obvious and simple to most magicians. But trust me, when you perform this to the lay person, they think it's outstanding. They will grab the pack and examine them and they just can't understand how they managed to get four perfect pairs of cards. Let me show you what it is. It involves a stack. So although the deck is regular, you can borrow these, you will have to do some setting up to begin with. Now this particular trick is something that I personally came up with just literally a few weeks ago, just sitting around, messing around with the cards, and it just kind of came to me. Now I'm sure that in the world, someone else has invented this, but I've never seen it. It's just something that I put together. Uh, the simplicity is what it's all about. What you need are four cards. Now, 
it doesn't matter what four cards you choose. You can have four aces, four kings. You could make these all pictures and aces. It doesn't really make any difference. The trick is all about pairs. What I've got, I've removed the four tens, four jacks, four sevens and four nines. What you do is you're going to stack these. So you take a ten, jack, seven, nine, ten, jack, seven, nine, and just stack these. Now it doesn't matter about the suit, the colour, it's just we need the values. Okay, so we're just pairing up cards. So you've got a little stack there. First thing you need to do, turn them over and deal one, two, three, four cards to the table. Okay. The other stack of 12 cards, what you do, you take your deck of cards and you just deal one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Any eight cards. The remainder of the pack goes on top here and then the whole stack goes on top like that. So you've got your stack here, you've got four cards at the bottom and just a regular deck in the middle. Okay, so we'll square this up. Now, the first thing you need to do is force the four cards onto the spectator. Now, the way that I do that, and I know I overuse this, I know in the comments you guys are going to say you always use this method, it's because I'm not very good at sleight of hand, so I like to keep it simple. We know that we don't want to touch about a third of the pack, because that's our stack at the top. As we go through past that stack, I ask people to touch a card and I push it forward. They touch another one and another one and another one. Now, these are the four cards they've chosen. I'm going to switch them for the four cards at the bottom. Remember those four cards, part of our stack at the bottom. And the way I do this is when I start... Let me show you this again. I say, I'm going to get you to pick some cards. I spread to the bottom four, square them up, and I get a finger break above those. So I'm now holding a break above those four cards. I push across the top part of the deck and then ask the spectator to touch any four cards, which they, they do. So they get a choice of any. Now, I know most magicians will just pull these cards out whilst adding these four cards. They literally do this. Now, because I'm not very good at hiding that, what I'd like to do is to spread these like that and say, you pick these four. Now, what I've kind of got is an umbrella. So even if I pull these four cards out badly, they're hidden by that spread of cards. And I pull these out. I've now got eight cards here. I've added our four cards to the bottom. Okay, so that's the, the way that I do this. If you know another way of switching out four cards, then use your own method. I then pull those out and say, let's take a look at these. I put them to the bottom, flip the deck over. There's the four cards from our stack. Now there's the four cards that they actually chose here. I then deal out the cards like this. Now, I've dealt them from right to left from my side, but to them, it's left to right. OK, so we make a note of those. You turn the pack over and you give the cards to the spectator. If you want to do any false cuts or shuffles, you can do if you want, cut the cards and ask them to pick the cards up. Now they're going to deal from left to right. Now remember the first eight cards are any random cards. It's when we get to the next one that we start our stack. So what you do is you give the cards to the spectator and you say to them, I want you to deal cards down there. That's it, in front of each of these. That's it. Keep dealing. Note the way I'm talking all the way through. Keep dealing. And when I get to about here, I say, and stop whenever you want. Now, they're not going to, by the time you've said stop whenever they've gone, they've already dealt the second row there. 
as they start to deal, just say, just deal them. Yeah, just stop whenever. And to be honest, they've got 12 cards here. It's very rare if it never happens, they're gonna go. They'll probably stop here. They may even go another uh, deal and stop there. Now, say if they stop here, you say, you're happy stopping there. Just carry on, deal for the rest of the pack because you want even amount of cards there. So they've stopped here. It doesn't matter whether they stop here, here or here. You just get them to carry on to the end. Of course, these four cards match these. Same as if they had dealt these four here, okay? You can turn the pack over, take them from them and show the bottom half to say you could have dealt any of these. Now this is the nice thing about the trick. It's all performance because we know it's worked. Now they stopped here, so you say you stopped on this card and you've paired it up, a pair of jacks. Then pick up another one, you've paired up nines and sevens and tens. And, and that's it. Now what I do like about this is that, just to further convince them, if you turn the whole packet over, because we know the first two rows of cards they dealt were any cards, you can turn these over and say, remember, if you had stopped on any of these, you wouldn't have had a pair. If you had stopped earlier on any of these, you wouldn't have had a pair. Can you see it looks as though they really did have that freedom of choice and the chances of these matching is impossible. So there you have it. A great little card trick with a regular deck Gather these up and you're ready to perform more magic with the cards. Hope you enjoyed that one. Take care.